Good afternoon, Cincinnati. She's got issues. Of course I do. So have you ever been scrolling through your Facebook or your Twitter or your Instagram or whatever social media and you see these ads for filaments and they're like 10 rolls for $100, $110, $120 and you're like, I yes. wonder if it's worth it. Well, don't worry. Today we found one of those companies. We got some filament and we're going to show you what we honestly think about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to E23D, where we make mistakes so you don't have to. For those of you that are new here, I'm Mike. And Sierra. And Sierra. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Today we're gonna show you our thoughts on the 3D Max PLA fluorescent green and pink. So, first things we do, print the Benchy. The Benchy! Because we didn't have our own logo to print at that time, but we do now. So we printed off the Benchy in our normal PLA that we have around the house that we've been using for a long time. And everything we uh, judge, we'll base it off of that. So first thing we did, we got the, the pinks and greens. They showed up, they were completely vacuum sealed. The pink spool here, it was bent down and warped real bad uh, over time. You can see it's pretty smooth again, so no issues there. Um, I know they did upgrade it because I've seen it on their Facebook page that they upgraded their spools. I haven't seen one yet, I haven't tested one yet, so I'm not gonna speak on the quality of it. But what we will talk about is the pink first. And so we printed the Benji, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it is comparable to, if not a little bit better than my typical brand that I use. Um, the pictures uh, that you can see, or the, the letters that you see on the bottom down here, came out much better on this pink than it did on my purple. Um, Thoroughly impressed with it. Absolutely loved it. So we decided to, you know, make this little guy the the one with the bad gestures. He's got a problem. Um, Get your act together, man. Yeah, I know, right? So we printed this thing out, and it came out beautiful. Uh, looks very smooth. Feels very smooth. Not seeing much warping or anything like that. Uh, so we had to print out our other hand to see if it was comparable. And honestly, I've got to tell you, the 3D Max uh, PLA Plus actually looks better in my opinion. Now, I could probably make some adjustments and tweak it to get it a little bit better, but I got to tell you, I like the way this one turned out better than my standard. So then we go to the fluorescent green and we look, we first print out the Benchy and we notice that you can see the infill on the inside, which means that it's actually see-through. <laughs> which in my opinion is pretty cool but when you compare the two your the arches right here on the benchy are a little weird a little messed up but besides that can't see the letters on the bottom like this one but in general it's an incredible print and i really like it so this benchy doesn't measure up to the purple one but it's not a horrible one no okay not like some of them we've had Okay. Then we decided to do a hand. We've already done a pink hand, so why not do a fluorescent green? And a left hand, because we have a right hand. So when we printed the hand, you can notice that it looks like ridges going up and down, like claw marks that go up. It's really weird, and we didn't know why it was happening. It could have been the infill, but it's also affects the outside of the print causing ridges on the outside too it's like a bunch of veins and everything and we didn't change any settings from this hand to this hand um so we shouldn't have seen that big of a, a difference in it but we did for some reason um but we've got a completed hand here and we don't here and why is that well when we started to print the fingers we noticed that we would have to stop the print because the printer got clogged 
so we thought. We thought it was a clogged nozzle, so we had to tear it apart. All apart. Everything. And this little video here kind of shows you uh, how we identified what was going on. So what we noticed after that video, that the filament was inconsistent. It was over 1.75 millimeters, causing us to actually damage some of our printer parts. Yep. So we had one piece that was 2.2 uh, millimeters, um, and it would not feed through the uh, extruder at all and the gears were just grinding away at the filament um, and then as I had to pop it out uh, I had to get some industrial size tools industrial compared to the, the 3d printing size tools um, and and pull it out and when I did it ended up messing up uh, part of the extruder a little bit um, so we realized at that point that the inconsistent filament size really was a danger yes to our print so that's why we don't have a completed hand here because um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to attempt that filament again um, which unfortunately is sad because this stuff came it is really not tightly and nicely rolled when we opened it it's a little loose now from us but the the, the roll of it of is the, the spooling of it's really nice um, and it's actually a huge disappointment. Uh, everyone loved this uh, color. Um, I mean, she even picked it out and we were hoping for something better, but we got that one piece that's messed up on it. Um, and so I, I can't promise you that I'm going to continue to print with the fluorescent green. Um, or any fluorescent from this. Yeah, or any fluorescent, because um, we don't know what it is. We don't know if it was a fluke or if it was something that, um, you know, just a, a manufacturing issue or a quality control issue. I'm not sure, um, and I'm not going to point blame anywhere, but I can tell you that I've got two rolls that 3D Max provided us uh, to review, and I absolutely love this pink one. Uh, it came out great. Uh, the prints are smooth, really nice, very happy with this. Five but, out of five. But literally, on the other hand, this one is a danger to our printer, and we will not be anytime soon printing with this until we find, you know, more consistent. Yeah, a, a way 
won't be using that one uh, until we can find a way to monitor uh, without me hovering over top of my extruder to measure every uh, couple inches or every few piece, few feet of pieces that go into it. Um, ain't got that kind of time to babysit that thing. So we may continue with this, but as of right now, I'm, I'm on the fence. Um, but what I can do for you is I can recommend that this right here works. It absolutely does. Um, you see the sales online, 10 for 20 or 10 for 120. Um, if I was to buy that, I would absolutely buy all solids. solid colors, um, not a fluorescent color. And this could be, like I said, could have been a fluke accident and maybe all their fluorescents are magnificent and we just got one that had a flaw in it. Um, but I want to be honest to everybody and I want everyone to know that that's what happened. And you know, yes, they provided us with this filament to test and we've tested it. And unfortunately, one of the rolls uh, has got me to the point where I'm not ready to continue printing with it yet. Um, so do I recommend 3D Max? Yes, I do. For solids, yeah. I do. Um, their solid colors, like she said, is, is great. Um, fluorescence, on the other hand, I, I can't promise you. Um, if it's a manufacturing issue, it could be something that's uh, more likely to happen. Um, but we haven't made it all the way through the pink roll yet, but we've used more of the pink roll than the green roll. Um, and we've had zero issues with it. Great, uh, great filament in my opinion. And it comes out very nice. When this stuff was printing, first print, magnificent. Second print, started to go downhill. And as you can see, there is no third print with the fingers because of the issues with the filament. So if you want to try this stuff out, give it a try. Um, it's your money at the end of the day, uh, but I just wanted to be open, honest, and do at your own risk. Transparent. We're not on the same page, but we are on the same page. We are. We're in the same book and chapter. We're a boy band. We're just not in sync. <laughs> <laughs> and... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell.